So here's something I wish someone had told me 15, 20 years ago. Forget about having a silent mind. That's what I used to think meditation was all about. And you ask a lot, you ask people who meditate and so many of them seem to want this thing called a silent mind. But what you end up discovering, of course, is that the more you try and silence the mind, the more you try and shut the mind up, the more you make that into a goal, the louder the mind gets. What you resist persists. So it was quite shocking for me to realize years ago that the goal in meditation is not to have a silent mind. Of course, during meditation, you, you can have moments where the mind is quiet, moments where the mind is noisy. The thing is, meditation is, is the container for all of that. So there's room in meditation for moments where the mind is noisy, moments where the mind is quiet. If you begin to see your mind not as like a solid thing, but as a dance of like waves coming and going in a vast ocean, you know, thoughts coming and going, voices in the head coming and going, uh, memories, uh, thoughts about the future, moment by moment in meditation, you just watch as all these waves arise, stay for a while, disappear. It's it's this constant flow, this dance of of waves. So the point in meditation is not to try and kill the waves. That's not what the ocean wants. <laughs> it's not what the ocean wants. Um, the point in meditation is not to try and control the waves, control the mind, or kill the mind, or silence the mind, or transcend the mind, or go beyond the mind. All these ideas, which is more mind, by the way, Meditation has nothing to do with that, actually. And it was such a shock when I realized this years ago. And so liberating. Such a relief. Meditation, the point of meditation is to remember the ocean. The wide open space of presence, awareness, call it whatever you want. The ground of being itself. That ocean that you are, in which all of these waves, these thoughts coming and going, coming and going, are allowed to come and go. Sometimes the thoughts are really dark, sometimes the thoughts are violent, sometimes the thoughts are intense, but they, they all come and go. What doesn't come and go is you, is the ocean of you. And so meditation is about remembering the ocean, not controlling the waves. You, you, can, you can try until you're blue in the face to control the waves of experience, thoughts, sensations, feelings. But ultimately what you come to discover is it's it's so beautifully, it's all so beautifully out of your control. And then there can be a surrender to that. So then you don't have to interfere with the mind. Let the mind be noisy. There's your power. When you, when you give the mind permission, hey mind, you can be noisy. You can scream and shout and try to distract me. It's, it's fine. The waves can come and go in the ocean, but I am remembering the ocean and no wave can harm the ocean, can destroy the ocean, can can detract from the ocean. So 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 you don't need to silence your mind or still your mind. The true stillness is in the ocean itself, in, in the ocean in which all these waves can play and dance and sometimes there's a storm. Um, but you don't need to still or silence the waves. So that's why I say forget about silencing the mind, forget about stopping the mind. You're just going to um, make the mind noisier. So you, it's a game you're going to lose. The, the real relief and peace is when you just kind of surrender. All right, mind, you can, you can say what you want and I'm resting as the ocean. If this video was helpful, uh, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to release, be releasing um, a lot more of these, these shorter videos in the future. Um, thank you for listening. Lots of love to you all.